it's winter time, so we are going to make a top 10 of the most strongest fragrances. I'm not going to pick the strongest fragrance ever that smells like, I don't know, something super particular or something very different. No, I'm going to pick fragrances that everyone can pick. If you go to a store, if you go online, you can choose, pick, or you can even smell it in a store. And it's also very wearable. So it's something that you will like, people will like, that it's not just a 10 out of 10 of performance. I will also mention some of them, but it's a 10 out of 10 of in performance. And also it's very good in other categories as well. So they're very well, great fragrances with a lot of performance. Performance meaning that they last a long time and they can be smelled from a distance. So it's a presence type of fragrance and they have a great sillage, so a trail that they get. Most of the times, these are the best fragrances for winter or fall time or night time, so situations where you're outdoor, situations where it's uh, cold, because it has to fight the winter season and it has to fight the cold, it has to fight other fragrances out there. So in, in, you need a little bit of a stronger fragrance outdoor because of the cold and because you need to be smelled and it's harder to be smelled outdoor and also because of the winter season. So let's go. Since I have many, I decided to go for a different type of top 10. Uh, they will all be linked down in the description also if you want to check them out both on Amazon, Notino or other websites sites that I recommend, but I decided to go for five uh, niche fragrances and five commercial fragrances. So fragrances that you can find uh, in the Sephora store are commercial ones, kind of, and fragrances that you can find in niche stores. So I have both types. Let's go with the commercial first, designer type of fragrances. And number five is a Bulgari Men in Black fragrance. It's a very nice type of a fragrance. It's not too expensive and it's everybody likes it. It's a, basically a 9.5 out of 10 in performance. Uh, it's peppery, it's spicy, it's vanilla, it's very masculine and I think it's very good. But in my opinion, the number one fragrance that I will list is the best version of this fragrance. So if you really like the scent, it's a bit different from the first number one spot. But so you can pick if you really like it but I would wait for the number one. Number four, it's a different type of fragrance and it's Azzaro Wanted. And this is the by night version. I know this is not produced anymore, but if you still have it and if you like the, the most wanted or there are some other versions, it's still fine. It's a very uh, type of secret agent and nighttime during a gala type of scent. So it's masculine, but at the same time, it's very nice, a bit sweet but on the elegant side. If you don't find this, I think a stronger with you intensely is another great option in a similar vibe, a gentleman type of a fragrance. Number three, it's Dior Sauvage. I know you guys like it. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But you know, after a while, uh, people got used so much to this fragrance that everybody has it. And, and so people started hating on it but it's a great fragrance and it lasts so long and every time you put it i receive a compliment and it lasts a long time so i will include it so this is not my opinion this is just data so data speaks and i will talk about the things that work the most and this works so it's still gorgeous in my opinion the eau de toilette version the original version is the best one so far so don't go for other ones they're not necessary at all these are just copy flankers for marketing purposes I will tell you the truth. And you know what? After a while, people that used to have it don't wear it anymore because they decided that many, too many people had it, so they are not using it. And people that wanted to buy new fragrances didn't buy this because of the same reason. So now it's kind of a weird spot where nobody's actually wearing it. <laughs> and there are so many new versions of other things that even if people that are not into fragrances go to the Sephora store, usually they don't take Sauvage. So I think now it's a good time to wear it. Number two, this is a Tom Ford fragrance. It's not about this specific fragrance, which, which is Oud Wood. It's all Tom Ford fragrances. Mostly the tobacco wood, the mineral, and the 
tobacco vanille. They have great performances, but you need to know how to pull them off because they are a bit more expensive and they are, uh, it's just 50 ml, so you have to be careful with it. But there are some Tom Ford that are not performing, like the old wood, it's an intimate fragrance, or the blue versions, all the blue bottles, they don't perform much. But there are some that really perform a lot, even the Fabulous one, the new Vanilla, huh? They perform a lot, so I really recommend you to try them on. And I really like Tom Ford because it has basically covered all different types of fragrances for everyone and for all uh, things that you need. So just try it. And in my opinion, the tobacco oud is the strongest one because of course it's tobacco, it's oudy. <laughs> and of course, <laughs> oh, what Dior Sauvage smells like? It's really hard to explain because it's very synthetic in a way, but it's fresh, peppery, ambroxan, and it's very recognizable. Number one, it's Spice Bomb Extreme. This is, in my opinion, the best winter fragrance and it's so good. It's uh, masculine, but I think women can also pull it off. And it's a bomb of spices, of course, as the name says, but it's vanilla, it's uh, opulent, it's creamy, it's rounded, it's so good. And every time I wear it, I receive compliments with this. If you spray it on a, a sweater, it will stay there for so many washes. So I really recommend you to pay attention and wear it on the <laughs> on the skin. If you wear a perfumes on your clothes, of course they will last longer, but at the same time, it's not that cool because you will sometimes stain the clothes if it's uh, a, a color type of scent. And also you don't want the same fragrance all the time. You want to change it. So if it smells, this shirt smells like Spice Bomb and I want to wear a blue Chanel because it's a different day, uh, then a mix with Spice Bomb, it's not the best option. But I really recommend this between the designer fragrances. But now let's start with the uh, five niche ones. Number five, it's a Tiziana Terenzi fragrance and it's Cassiopeia. This is the most feminine fragrance of this list, but it's so good. It smells like an angel, <laughs> a fruity type of angel. Imagine the Victoria's Secret type of girl, but more godly, more divine, and add fruits on it, and it smells like that. But in my opinion, if you are a type of guy uh, that is masculine, but at the same time he has a touch of femininity, you can pull it off gorgeously. I received a lot of compliments with this and it lasts basically an eternity. Number four, this is a Dior fragrance, but it's the private collection, so I consider it a niche, and it's Oud Ispahan. Oh wow, this is so elegant. This is Oud and it's Arabic and it's uh, dark, but at the same time it's not that animalic dark. It is very rosy as you, uh, you can as you can see it here it smells exactly like this color i don't know how to explain it but if you try it you will understand exactly what i mean and it's yes just imagine wood just imagine rose just imagine flowers with wood so this contrast and with a, a touch of arabian nights and an elegance and that's it number three it's an initial fragrance and it's wood for greatness this is such a great fragrance dark golden aura around you, mystic, mineral, I don't know, it's really hard to explain, it's kind of sugary, but it's not in a gourmand way, it's so good, and in my opinion, it's one of the best fragrances ever, for compliments, for performance, for everything, I would choose this one, if I had to just pick one probably, uh, for all benchmarks, and it's so long lasting. Now number two and number one, these are a bit more niche, but I wanted to share them anyway, this is an Italian brand, it's called Pantheon Roma, and this is a specific type of fragrance, it's called Z, Z. And there is a very important niche store in Milan, it's called Zor, and they created a specific type of fragrance just dedicated to that uh, perfume store. Zor, Z, Z. And so they are from Morocco, and so they have this very luxurious, 
type of vibes and this is so good it's leathery it's arabic it's so strong so strong i wanted to include it because it's the strongest fragrance in my collection no it's a very hard to obtain if you're not in milan probably you can find it on the website anyway but there is also another one which is probably easier to find it's called a by pantheon and it's so strong too maybe even a bit more uh, casual maybe a bit more for the summer but still very potent and white and number one spot it's a kind of a cheap fragrance but it's a giardini toscana it's called bianco latte this is so strong and so good bianco latte means uh white milk but it's not too milky as you think it's very gourmandish it's very sweet but it's not sugary that makes you noxious it's not a noxious type of gourmand it's very comforting it's very douche it's very uh, relaxing calming it's vanilla it's a, a hug of powder of uh, cream i don't know and this is like if you spray this it will last forever in air <laughs> i don't know it's just way too strong so yeah i have a couple of honorable mentions there are so many like razazila yukavam or even bakara rouge that last a long time or even this the kajal la mar noir this is such a great fragrance and it's super potent even the normal version the, uh, the la mar kajal the golden version so many compliments there are so many fragrances guys with great performances but in my opinion these ones are the best right now for me in terms of you know overall great with addiction with the addition of performance let me know what you think and guys i will also from now on start a new way of making videos i'll try if I have a lot of comments or if I have some comments, I will pick the comment that I prefer and make a video out of that question or out of that comment. It's a request or whatever. And if one comment has the most amount of likes between all the others, I will just pick that one and make a video about it. So that's it. Let me know what you think. See you in the next videos.